Hi everyone, it's Dwellis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand. And um, I just put this little fellow here for you to look at while I'm talking. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm here today to share with you my uh, it's my project for the third weekly challenge by Susie Crafter on her Facebook group All Things Marie and of course Marie is uh, referring to the French Queen Marie Antoinette of the 18th century so Marie was all very frivolous and feminine and flouncy and frou-frou so the idea was that um, for this challenge for this third week's challenge um, that Susie put up was um, to do a pin cushion, um, a Marie Antoinette pin cushion, um, Christmas pin cushion, for um, with using a toilet roll or tissue roll, whatever you want to call it, toilet paper roll, as the um, and you know as the main thing in the project. So I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, this is a little bit difficult to film, I guess. <laughs> like all my Marie things have been difficult to film. Okay, so this is the this is the um, pin cushion, and I'm going to lift this up here so that you can see. That's the toilet roll holder there, and I've covered it with a beautiful tin, um, a beautiful foil paper in pink and gold. Very, very Marie. So, I'll just put it back as it was. So that's what this is built around. And here is Marie herself. I hope this um, the lighting is okay here because I'm doing this at half past ten at night. I'll just get draw you a little bit closer. And there she is. And she's wearing a gown that's um, got embroidered pink things around it, flowers I guess. And um, she's got a beautiful collar there. Oops, see if you can see that. Beautiful necklace. Okay, so I've done this um, this whole thing very frou frou. And the idea behind this, behind my pin cushion, was that this was the skirt. Of one of her sumptuous court gowns, and it's all done of um, beautiful um, rows and or tears of um, frills, as you can see, and it's sort of in a um, an old ecru colour. Let's take it a bit further back. Yeah. Um, so we've got row upon row of frills here, right down to the bottom, and on the bottom here I've put which has got to come out here a bit, I've put um, pearls and they're a lovely champagne coloured pearl off a vintage necklace and they're all around there, all around there. Underneath, right around the base because it's a Christmas item, um, is um, it's, it's a gold trim. I love this trim, it's the first time I've used it but I want, as, as it's a Christmas project, I wanted to make it Christmassy so I put the gold in and that goes all around the base which is um, just a piece of cardstock um, the size of a CD and then I've put this um, French I've covered it in a paper which has got French writing on it which is very hard to see because it's way down there and then here I've continued the the idea of the dress just by putting this like this is the beginning of her um, of some more frills and this is a sequin piece of trim it's the same as this um, bit of trim up here it's got lace and it's got sequins on it and it's got two layers of lace oh no I beg your pardon I put it I've put I've put it on twice one on top of the other just um, and then you've got the pin pin cushion itself in here and all these lovely um, stick pins actually came to me from Evelyn in, a, in our swap that's Evelyn 0861 she made all of these and I think they're very very Marie 
so they're going in there I was going to make some up myself I was going to do them in pink and stuff like that but I've been working extra duties at the hospital to get a bit of money in for Christmas since my husband's still not found a job um, yes yeah, so it's been a little bit tricky for me you know just to have the extra time to make stick pins so I thought I'd use these ones which are absolutely lovely thank you Evelyn if you're watching yes yeah, so okay the back of this gown this is the back of Marie's gown I've already shown you the pearls around the bottom bit this is a court gown and <clears throat> down here we've got um, rows of beautiful pink pink bows, organza bows with ribbons, with, um, with, sorry, with satin roses in them and we've got the pearls as well. That makes the back of it and, and the frill up here of course. And then we go around the front again. And at the front we've just got um, the whole thing pulled back as it was by um, the same pink organza ribbons, or bows with the little pink satin flowers in them. There's some um, little pink roses here and up the top there's a bow that I put in, a ganza bow and with a pink, very soft pink rose. Down the bottom here we've got, um, this is wild orchid craft flowers and I'm not sure what they are, they might be gardenias I think and they're in a sort of a soft lemon colour with pink tinges, tinge around the petals got these same pearls around her and I've put a lovely pink large pink gemstone there and all around here I've got um, this beautiful pink trim with pearls in um, every alternate rose so that there you go that's my Marie Antoinette gown this is like from the waist down and a picture of her in the middle of course Marie Antoinette herself and there's some more um, up here there's another another two layers of lace so this is her gown from the waist down and if she had a body it would, her torso would be up here so I hope everyone likes it it's a little bit different I just you know I like to think outside the box as they say um, I like it I think it's um, it's going to look very pretty I'm going to put it as part of my Christmas decorations and um, thank you for watching. Thank you again, Susie, for um, another great challenge. It's been really enjoyable, this three weekly challenge. Um, of course, it, there's no more coming on now until after Christmas because obviously everyone's gearing up for the, the great event. So this is the last of my week challenges. It was just covering three weeks. And... Um, I've really enjoyed it. So anybody who's interested in um, in joining this um, Facebook group, All Things Marie, um, obviously everything we do is built around Marie Antoinette, the colours and the style that she used, the style that she had. Um, but if you're interested in that kind of thing, which I absolutely love, then um, pop along to Susie Crafter and... You know, you can contact her. That's her ID on um, here on YouTube, Susie Crafter. She does some beautiful crafting. And if you love doing shabby chic and um, everything sort of soft and feminine and these beautiful frills, then, um, yeah, maybe this group is just going to be perfect for you. So it is for the more um, advanced crafter rather than brand new crafters, um, simply because, you know, the things we're doing in it. But, um, you know, if you're at all interested, um, either contact PM me and I'll put you in touch with Susie or PM Susie herself. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Bye for now.